I know you. You were too short. You had bad skin. You couldn't talk to them very well. Words didn't seem to work. They lied when they came out of your mouth. You tried so hard to understand them. You wanted to be a part of what was happening. You saw them having fun. And it seemed like such a mystery, almost magic. It made you feel like there was something wrong with you. You look in the mirror and try to find it. You thought you were ugly. And that everyone was looking at you. So you learned to be invisible, to look down, to avoid conversation. The hours, days, weekends, ah, the weekend nights, alone. Where were you? In your basement? The attic? In your room? Working some job just to have something to do, just to have a place to put yourself, just to have a way to get away from them? A chance to get away from the ones that made you feel so strange and ill at ease inside yourself. Did you ever get invited to one of their parties? You sat and wondered whether you'd go or not. For hours, you'd imagine the scenarios that might transpire. If they would laugh at you. If you would know what to do. If you had the right things on if they noticed that you came from a different planet? Did you get all brave inside your thoughts? Like you were going to be able to go in there and just deal with it and have a great time? Did you think that you might be the life of the party? That all these people wanted to talk to you and you would find out that you were wrong? that you had a lot of friends, and that you weren't so weird after all? Did you end up going? Did they single you out? Did they mess with you? Did you find out that you were invited because they thought that you were so weird? Yeah, I know you. You spent a lot of time full of hate, a hate that's as pure as sunshine. A hate that saw for miles. A hate that kept you up at night. A hate that filled your every waking moment. A hate that carried you for a long time. Yes, I think I know you. You couldn't figure out what they saw in the way they were living. Home was not home. Your room was home. Where they weren't, that was home. I know you. You're sensitive, and you hide it because you fear of getting stepped on one more time. It seems that when you show a part of you that's the least bit vulnerable, one of them steps on you. They mistake kindness for weakness, but you know the difference. You've been the brunt of their weakness for years, and strength is something you know quite a bit about because you've had to be strong to keep yourself alive. You know yourself very well now. And you don't trust people. You know them too well. You try to find that special person. Someone you can be with. Someone you can touch. Someone you can talk to. Someone you won't feel so strange around. And you found that that person doesn't really exist. You feel closer to people on movie screens. Yeah, I think I know you. You spend a lot of time daydreaming, and people have made comment to that effect, telling you that you're self-involved and self-centered, but they don't know, do they? About the long night shifts alone. About the years keeping yourself company. All the nights you wrapped your arms around yourself so you could imagine someone else holding you. hours of indecision, self-doubt, the intense depression, the blinding hate, the rage that made you stagger, 
the devastation of rejection. Well, maybe they do know. But if they do, they sure do a good job of hiding it. It astounds you how they can be so smooth, how they pass through life as if life itself was some divine gift. And it infuriates you to watch yourself with your apparent skill in finding every way possible to screw it up. For you, life is a long trip, terrifying and wonderful. Birds sing to you at night. The rain and the sun, the changing seasons are true friends. Solitude is a hard-won ally, faithful and patient. Yeah, I think I know you. <laughs>